Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, February 28th. Can you believe it's the end of February already? 2023, so tomorrow is March 1st and that means spring is right around the corner, which I'm so excited about. And um, we have a fun technique tonight. Oh, I forgot to say this is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com. And, oh, it's 7 o'clock Eastern time, just in case you guys are wondering if you're live or not. So if it's not 7 p.m. Eastern where you are on Tuesday, then you're getting the replay. And it should have a little red live button on it to show you that we're live. So we've got a bunch of people on already. And, of course, I have a crooked screen. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix it. Who knows what causes this? I don't know. Let me see, that might be a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> I always like, I'm a few seconds behind, so like I'll fix something and then I'll wait. And then all of a sudden it just starts doing it. So <laughs> It's the delayed reaction. So hello everybody. Hey Julie, hey Annie, hey Minda, hey Cynthia, hey Debbie Spice Girl, hey Terry. Oh, you got a, let, a card in the mail for me today. Yay. The videos do not do your cards justice. They are so much prettier in person. I know. Just like this one. I'm looking at it on the computer screen. I'm like, that does not even look at all. Well, I mean, it does look kind of like it, but it's so much prettier in person because you can't see the sparkle on it. So um, I'm glad you got your card. Thank you, Spice Girl. Hey, Lynn. Um, let's see. The colors are amazing. This is like the easiest card you're ever going to make. It's like five seconds. I made all these in about five minutes. So it's no time at all. It's a really easy gift idea. So I'll tell you what gave me the idea for this. Actually, a couple things. I went to a meeting last night with my upline. And so we made this cute little journal. So I thought this was adorable. And we used the new letters, which are the classic letters. These are available starting tomorrow for everybody. If you're a demonstrator, you could have pre-ordered them. And that's what I did. But they're available to everybody tomorrow on that new online thing. So there's going to be tons of new stuff available online um, for everybody. And uh, we got a sneak peek of some things. If you're a demonstrator, you did. If you're... Um, I'm not a demonstrator and you're just a customer, then you'll see everything tomorrow. So um, we got to pre-order about, uh, I think it was maybe six or eight things ahead of time. There was that one suite and then the letters and a bossing folder. And I can't remember what else it was, but um, I ordered most of it. But I hadn't used these letters yet. And we did this project last night with the baby wipe technique. And I was like, oh, I love, love, love that. So I wanted to use that today. And then she showed me a card that she did. Now, I didn't finish this one, so she just gave me the pieces to make it and I just kind of stamped it, but I messed up. So I'm like, I'll just do it later. So it was just monogram, doing your monogram. And you could have picked your first or last uh, initial. And so I was sitting there thinking, what if I just did my name? And then you could make like a whole set and you could put them with the envelopes, put a little ribbon around it and make a gift for somebody. So I wanted to make something easy using the baby wipe techniques. Technique. So um, that's what I did. And my name's pretty short, so it came out really easy. If your name is long or the person you would like to make this for has a long name, you can certainly just do their initials. Um, or I did one, if you don't wanna, if you don't have the alphabet or you don't wanna use the, you know, personalized thing, you can just put a big word there. So I did one with things too or you could put happy birthday or whatever. Um, I just thought that was cute with the uh, name on it because then it's personalized for the person you give it to. So, and then the inside, I just stamped the leaves, the same leaves as here. So I just thought the colors were so pretty together and I just think it's gorgeous. So, you know what else would be pretty is like a little portfolio where you take a, a whole sheet of paper and then you fold it in half and then you fold up the bottom like you fold it in half, open it back up, then fold up the bottom, make little pockets, and then put two cards on each side, and then tie a ribbon around it. I think that would be pretty too. But I did all of these in different colors. So these are the four colors I used um, for the backs. 
So I wanted you to see all four colors that I used and pick which one you like best. And that's the one we're gonna do tonight. So this is actually the card kit for the next two weeks. So if you place an order starting tomorrow through the 15th, you'll get this card kit. And we've got these four colors. So it's Old Olive, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and Coastal Cabana. But I actually used Bermuda Bay ink, but it's Coastal Cabana paper. So they all go really pretty with the stamping. So which one do you think looks the best out of these four colors? Oh, and also I put rhinestones on two of them and not on other two. And so we're going to let you choose. So whoever has the, or whichever color has the most votes, that's the color I'm going to do tonight. And isn't this cool how um, we embossed this too with the time-worn type after we stamped it? And this one, I was just afraid I would never get it straight. So that's why I did it like that. So if you're ever stamping a word and you are thinking, I'm never going to get that straight, just do one up, one down, one up like that. Now this one I put, mine I put on a block. So I just had them all together. So I just laid it down on my grid paper, um, the letters, and then I just put the block on it and picked it up. So they're straight like that. So that's a great thing you can do with the alphabet set. The only problem is like, say you have a name like um, Susan or something <laughs> where you need two S's, <laughs> then you're kind of out of luck because you'd have to do them individually because you don't have the two S's together. So that's the only bad thing. But like my name is four different letters. So, but you could do the initials and it would be just as, just as good. Um, let me see. Comments. Good. Just waiting. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Orc okay, here's the colors. All right, so we have, wow. Okay, Orchid Oasis, Old Olive, Starry Sky, Coastal Cabana. Wow, everybody's saying something different. <laughs> Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, Starry Sky. Starry Sky, I think Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis are getting the most. Okay, so... Yeah, definitely Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. Okay, so let's narrow it down, or we can do two of each. You wanna just do two of each? That would be okay. They're pretty close, really. That Orchid Oasis, to me, does not look like Orchid. It looks like just a lighter version of Starry Sky. I always think of Orchid as purple, and I don't think that really has purple in it, but. Um, okay, we'll just do two of each. So we'll do two of the Orchid and two of the Starry Sky. Okay, and then how about with or without the rhinestones? What do you think? With or without the rhinestones? All colors. <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind. Starry sky. Um, need a slim line. Or Antoinette. Tony. I think you could just do Tony <laughs> instead of Antoinette. You would definitely not be able to fit your name on a card. But most of you guys would know Lynn. She's got two ends, so she would not be able to. Hey, Sandy. Let's see. All right, everybody's saying with. All right, so we're going to do with rhinestones, and we're going to go two of each color. All right, so that's what we're doing. And then do you guys like the thanks one, too? I think it's so pretty. So if you don't have the alphabet and you don't want to get it, if you're, or if you already have an alphabet, you could do the thanks too if you don't like the name thing. But I thought it was just a cute idea. And I love my little notepad. Um, if you want to make one of these, it's super easy. It's just the little um, steno pads from Sam's Club. And she said she got 12 of them in a pack for $6 and some change. She said she went to office depot and they were $24 for 12 packs. So definitely go to Sam's and get these if you want to do them for a class or something, but they're really cute. And all we did was um, just cut this like diagonally there and then cut a piece underneath it diagonally that way. And then just kind of filled in with this little piece, but everybody picked different paper and did theirs. Um, most people use, she had a bunch of retired paper and I didn't want to use retired paper. So this was the only pack that had current so that's why I picked this one but I still like the colors a lot all right and then so we're using this is the 
stamp set that you can get tomorrow, Classic Letters. I'm also using Nature's Prints. And the thanks came from Kind and Sincere. So you could put, uh, I don't know if congratulations would, yeah, congratulations would barely fit on a card. That's a pretty long word. And then you could put, oh, I didn't even notice this. I've never used, this is the first time I've used this stamp set. But you could put thanks, um, let me see, for everything. Or you're too kind. I didn't even notice this set was like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there you go. All right, so I've already pre-cut everything. So that was, in case you wanna do one like this too. Um, so Faith, she took, I can't even remember what stamp set this is from. It's a brand new one. But she curved it just a little bit. So we put that on the top and the bottom, but then I messed mine up. Because where we go is at this church and they have these really crummy tables. And when you stamp on it, it just doesn't give you a good image, so. That's why I said I'll just take mine home and do it again. So, but that's where I got the idea from. So that's that. I also got some happy mail. Actually, I got two things. I could have sworn I brought the other one too. Oops, shoot, I guess I forgot it. I got one in the mail today too. This one came yesterday. Oh, also if you, so this is the new card kit starting tomorrow. So you'll get, we'll do two of the um, Starry Sky and two of the Orchid Oasis. And then if your order's over 100, you'll get these, the blue adhesive back gems also with it. So that's the new kit starting tomorrow. So this one right here is the one, today's the last day you can get this one with your order. So if you do a $50 or more order with this, you get today, you get this. And it's also the last day of celebration. And this also goes with that with the $100 order. Last day of celebration. And also, my last plug for this, I don't think I'm gonna get it because I'm not really that close. I got, I'm at like 4,500. So I still need like $1,500 in one day. I, I, actually not even one day, like in five hours. So. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to wait till March to hit this, but thank you to everybody who ordered. And on Thursday, I will um, have the winners picked. So right now I've got four $100 gift cards to give away to four lucky winners. If I hit 5,000 tonight, I'll give away another one, but um, I don't know. But thank you so much to everybody who ordered. So I'm almost at seven, I'm at 600 and, 98,500 or so, so I'm almost there, but I'll hit it um, probably in about a week or so, I guess. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate everybody who tried to help me, and hopefully this year will be awesome, and it won't take me like five years to get 100,000 anymore. All right, so I got this in the mail yesterday from, who, would, who did I get it from? I can't remember. Hold on. Let's see, there was so much stuff in here. It was from Kathy Hahn. Kathy Hahn, H-O-H-N, I think is the last name. And she sent me a cute little letter and some recipes and was thanking me for sharing my recipe. So we have a cute card here that I thought was adorable for a wedding. And then like a little tea bag holder, so this you could just stick some tea bags in and I thought that was really cute and she gave me the pattern for that and then this card which I've seen before but I've never done that where you cut out three circles of different sizes and you cut them in half and then you put half on one side half on the other side so she gave me the pattern for that so thank you thank you thank you and then she sent me this this was the pattern easier to mark but measure I think that, oh, that's, I think for the wedding card. And then this cute little book, and it holds a gift card and a whole bunch of other stuff in here. So it's like just a little book. Oh, look, there's another, they're clever. Oh, these are the directions. Cute. So I thought that was really cute. And of course you could use any paper you want. And now I have the directions so I can make it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I just love it. And I love getting happy mail. And I did have one other one that came in the mail today. 
and I could have sworn I put it in here, but if you saw what this room looked like, you would flip. Oh, there it is. It's over by the door. Darn it. So I decided to, I'm kind of like <laughs> a mess right now because, <laughs> um, oh, let me get my paper ready. I'm going to show you this too. There's a sneak peek of what else I'm going to show you. So these are techniques I just did. I made up off the top of my head with what was left over on the baby wipes. So I'm gonna show you how to make all these. So it is really a fun technique. So I used my Stamparatus for my tray. So this is what I'm gonna put the baby wipe on. So um, anyway, on Sunday, I decided that my office is a disaster. So I said, I'm gonna get organized and so I took everything out of my closet in here and it's all over the floor and I barely could get in the room right now. <laughs> so I was going to work on it some more today because I didn't finish. And then I went and bought a new, um, organizing thing like, uh, this big wood kind of shelf with little cubbies in it. I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday just because I was over that way and I hadn't been to, we have a new one and I had never been there. And I said, I'm just going to go over there and see what they have. And I walked in and they have all this furniture and I was like, Oh my gosh. And it was so cute. And I didn't even know they had furniture there because I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in forever. And I hadn't been to our new one. So I walked in and I saw like three pieces of furniture I wanted that would be perfect for my office and I picked one and I love it love it love it and I'm telling you what it fits in my closet with about a half an inch on either side to spare so it actually like fits perfect and I didn't even measure it so I was worried it wasn't gonna fit but anyway everything is pulled out of my closet and it's piled up everywhere on the floor and I practically broke my neck getting in this room right now so that was my goal today was to do some of that after I got back from running errands today. But it turned out that it was so gorgeous outside, I could not do it. <laughs> so I had to go sit outside in the sun and um, soak up some rays. And guess what happened? I fell asleep. <laughs> it was so nice out there. And I, I fell asleep for like two hours in the I wasn't really in the sun. I was kind of like half in the sun, half in the shade because it was moving. And this time of the year, the sun's not like super strong. And um, so we've got Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. And we'll put two of each. Okay. So this is all you need for the cards. So we'll put that here. So we've, oh, let me get the other one out. We're doing those too. So you need five and a half by eight and a half, um, two Orchid Oasis, two Starry Sky, and then eight of these, the five and a quarter by four white, because you need four for the front, four for the inside. So that is it. So super easy. Oh, let me read some comments real quick, and then I'll finish my story. Right before I started this video, um, my Safari just like, poof, went out. So I had to um, restart that. That was like five minutes before the video started. Any jokes tonight? Yes, I have a blonde joke tonight. And then you might have already heard it because I posted it on my Facebook page probably about a year ago, but it's a really funny one that I love. You're so glad it's the last day of celebration. What? I wish celebration was all year round and they would just change it every month and put new stuff. I love celebration, because I love getting free stuff. Love the booklet. Oh, good. Hey, Donna. I want the directions. Oh, Joni wants the directions to make that book. Hold on, what did I just do with it? Let me get it back out real quick. Because I didn't even realize she put it in here. I was looking at it last night when I got home from work. Wait a minute, where did it go? I know I saw them in here. Well, the 
this is how I missed it. Here we go. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. I'll just hold it there in case you want to take a screenshot. Pick out cover and set aside. Pick out fireside pages. Huh. I might have to try and make it and then put you, put the directions on here. So that's the front and then there's the back. So see if you guys can figure that out. And she put Lyric Lover Crafts. Maybe that's where she got the um, pattern from. I don't know. But I might try and make that with some different paper. All right. So what was I saying? Um, I forgot now. Hmm. I lost my train of thought. I think I was telling you about laying out in the yard. And I fell asleep. Because it was so gorgeous out there I don't know what it is about laying in the sun it just like it just feels so good I just love it and it gives me like I don't know some kind of warm and fuzzy feeling <laughs> oh no a blonde joke I'm getting silver kind of <laughs> we need more celebration yes we do but I buy too much stuff I know it do they have a placement score for trimmer um I think you have to but you know what? I don't think they do have a scoring replacement. Isn't that weird? I think somebody said that the other day. Um, yeah, somebody asked me about that the other day, and I think I looked it up, and I couldn't find one. So, okay, let's get started. And I got to remember for Starla to try and keep things straight. So I'm terrible about doing that. When I'm stamping, I always go sideways. All right, so we need a baby wipe. Any baby wipe will do. And for some reason, I don't know why, it seems like the first ones that always come out are not as juicy as some of the ones like on the bottom, like the, the all the juice settles to the bottom. So just take your Stamparatus or any kind of block or plate or whatever you want and just put it on there. So what we're gonna do is make a an ink pad. I'm going to spritz it with water just because I want mine just a little bit more wet. So I've got four ink refill colors. So I've got Bermuda Bay. So you're going to put maybe like 10 drops of each on the, I just got to make sure it's long enough to do my words. Well, plus I have another big stamp too. So you have to make sure that it's going to be big enough to cover your stamp because the key to do the doing the baby wipe technique is you don't move it all over. You have to keep it in one spot so you don't muck up the colors. So once you set your stamp down, you don't really want to like move it all around. All right, this is old olive. So I don't know, maybe 10 or, 10 or 12 drops of each one. This is starry sky. So we're just trying to fill it in so it's all gonna connect together. And oops, I got it on my finger. And then we've got Orchid Oasis. So they should start running together pretty soon. After you let it sit here, it will run together. Okay, maybe a little bit more. I think I'm going to add a teeny bit more of the Bermuda Bay. Okay. All right. So there is our ink pad right here. I'm going to put it on the side. I hope you can see it still. Let me move it over just a little bit. Okay. So what we're going to do is the, um, my name first, but I'm going to test it on a piece of scrap paper because you want to make sure it starts going together. I'm going to turn it this way. So, I think I need it flat. There we go. But you don't want to like go all over because that's going to muck it up. You kind of want to leave your colors separate. So you can tap it like in place, but not all over. So let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks pretty good. Just kind of a little bit light right there. Let's try and, and do another spot. But as you tap it, it's gonna start going together. 
Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. Okay, so that looks good. So now we're gonna do it on our paper. So just tap it right in the same spot. Like, don't really move it. And then you just wanna try and center it. If you mess up, oh, oh, that was close. <gasps> Whew, I thought I messed it up. If you mess up, you can always flip it over though. It's hard to see because my stamps are already pink. I don't know why, because I haven't used red. Today's the first day I've used this stamp set, but it kind of dyed it red a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, I love these colors together. Love it. Oh, just looks like the ocean to me. I bet this would be super pretty embossed, like I had it on that um, notepad. That's what I should have done, but I didn't want to bring my um, die cutting machine in here. Oh, love it. That is gorgeous. Okay. So now we're going to go to, oh, you know what? Let me do one with the thanks for you. I'll do one more. Oops. Let me get a piece of scrap paper over here and I'll show you the thanks one. So here's the thanks. Oh. Look how pretty that is. Oops, I grabbed two. All right, so there's that. All right, so now we're gonna go to this stamp, which is from the Nature's Print, and we're gonna do around this one. So again, don't tap it all over because you don't wanna muff your colors up. You want them to kind of stay in place. So we're gonna go one on the top, one on the bottom, just kind of around it. Oh, love it. Oops. Oh, that's so pretty. Love it. Isn't that so easy? It's really hard to mess up. But you just gotta remember the key is don't muck up your colors. You wanna keep them separated so that you get that really pretty look. Because if you start going like this, then they're all gonna turn to mud. And then it's just going to look gross. Love it. Oh, these colors are gorgeous together. And a solid stamp works probably better. This one's pretty solid, but I could have picked one that was even more solid. Oops, is that four? Yeah, that's four. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go to the other one and do the inside of the card, too. So this one's also in that same stamp set. So this one comes out really, really good. So we're going to stamp this one twice. This is not quite as juicy as mine was earlier. Because you can't hardly see the second, second stamping. Love it. Are you guys talking amongst yourselves? I can't see. <laughs> I have to stop and look at comments. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, one more. And then I'll look at comments real quick. Oh, love it, love it, love it. All right. Okay, let me see. Um, how many people here are demos? Lots. I think a lot of you guys are demonstrators. Sympathy would work. Yeah, this would be a good sympathy card. Uh, let me see. Any jokes tonight? Yes. I have a blonde joke. I might even give you two jokes. I'm so glad you like my jokes. <laughs> Faith is very creative. Yep, she is an awesome upline. Seem like I was maybe in the minority not being a demo. No, there's a lot of people on here who aren't demos too. Chicken pot pie. Oh my gosh, I love chicken pot pie. Love it. You know what I had for dinner? Oh, I shouldn't even tell you. I had some ice cream. <laughs> I went and bought a salad for dinner and then it got time for dinner and I just was like not in the mood for salad. I don't know why. I was just like, I really want something sweet. So... I was going to have like two bites of ice cream and there you go, the whole container. 
It was bad. I love the booklet. I really enjoy making albums. I know. I'm going to have to try it. Uh, let's see. Love that card that you received that was made with the half circles. I know. I've seen those before and always wanted to try one, but I have never done that before. Show us a picture. Oh, are you talking about a picture of my stamp room? My office right now? Mm-mm. Did I have sunscreen on? No, because the, I think the tanning index was like a three today. It wasn't very strong, but I just wanted to go sit out there because it was so beautiful. Oh, guess what happened? I got to tell you a story. Uh, let's see. Love that book. Six inches of snow. Is that six inches or feet? 6.1. I'm thinking that's feet because most people don't say 6.1 inches. That would be crazy. Six feet of snow. Um, oops. I hate it when all these comments just skip. Would they blend? What if you spray it with water now? Yeah, I can spray it with water now. Let me try it. Because I think that's part of the problem. My baby wipe might be dry. Okay, so let's do the inside. So we're gonna um, do this for the inside twice. Nope, still pretty pretty dry. Yeah, you wanna have a really good baby wipe. I should have grabbed one from the bottom. It still comes out beautiful though. Love it. Okay, so there we go. Oh, and I've got some dotage. So we're gonna put some dotage on here. I love that word, dotage. See how quick you can make these? You could make like 50 of these in no time for gifts for people. All right, although you'd have to change the names. Oops. Seems like the first stamp comes out really dark, but then the second one doesn't want to do so much. Love it, love it. I love that little pop of green in there too. You know what would have been pretty also is like granny apple green. I think that would have been pretty. All right, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna set these aside for just a minute while I show you what I'm gonna do with this. So I brought a glove because I don't want to get my fingers all dirty. I'm gonna do some plastic surgery. Oh, let me tell you my story. So I might've started this the other day. Yeah, I think I did. Let me see. So, you know, I got my bathroom done and that came out great. And then I was, it was raining. What day was it raining? The other day it was raining. And then a piece of my brick had broken on my front porch. So I had to get that fixed. And then I had another broken brick um, in the garage. And then my chimney started leaking. So we're not going to make this many. I just have a stack of this paper. All right. So what we're going to do is just take some white paper. And we're going to fold this up. And we have a lot of pretty color right here too. Fold this up into four pieces. All right, so what you're gonna do is just take this with all the color still on there and just swipe it across your paper and make stripes. Is that cool? <laughs> Look! And it dries almost instantly. Love it. Let's do another one of those. I'm gonna mess up my paper though, that's all right. Oh, look at that, love it. And you can actually go both ways if you want to. All right, let's do some swirls. So we can take it and do swirls on here. So if you just kind of go like that. This one's kind of got a dry spot, I think. There we go. I made a mess, let's flip it over. Okay, then I took one and I just kind of dabbed it like this. And it gives you the look of like um, saran wrap technique. Have you ever tried that before? I love this one. Just gives you a splotchy look. But it reminds me of the saran wrap. When you crinkle up saran wrap and do it. 
All right, then you can just do like this and get some bigger dots. And then what else could we do? Let's see what's left. Oh, I love it. I wonder if you went back the other way, if it would do anything. Oh, look at that. Got like Argyle. I love it. I got a blue thumb. Oh, I really like that one. Let's do that with this one. Take it back across and make stripes. Ah! Got a plaid. I love it. So all this you can do with your leftover. So I could sit here for like forever, get using up this ink and I have some more still. So what else could we do? That looks cool. Oops, I just went crooked, darn it. Let's flip it over. You kind of want to start off the page, I think. That comes out better. I've made a total mess over on my paper. Oh, I like that one. So you get the idea. So then wipe up your mess. Actually, I need a paper towel and I don't have one. So then when you're done, just take your um, glove and pull it off with that in the middle. All right, and this is dry, so you're good. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna put them all together, but look at all these um, backgrounds we just did. Aren't these cool? So you can do all this with just your leftovers. I really like these, the um, plaid ones. I think that's my favorite, and this one. I love these right here. This is my favorite one, I think, out of, well, I don't know, I really like that one too. What do you guys think? You love it? Um, this would be good with fall colors too. I did that, my thumbs hurt more, index finger. Bad. Love lots. Costco has a good chicken pot pie. I canceled my Costco membership because I never went there. It's too far from here. Love the blotting. Love the plaids, cool designs. Reminds me of Madras. Oh yeah, those shirts, Madras. My dad used to wear those all the time. If you left the ink on the Stamparatus plate, could you spray it with water? Oh, I bet you could. Yep, and smush it. I think you could. Yeah, my pictures of my bathroom are on my Facebook page. My personal one, Lisa Brooke Freeman. Uh, let's see. Oh, so I didn't finish telling you my story. So anyway, it was raining the other day and I hear this drip, drip, drip in my chimney. And I was like, oh no, because about a year or so ago, it was doing that and I had somebody come fix it. And the guy that I had fix it was recommended by my real estate agent. So I thought, well, you know, he must be good if she uses him. And I'm gonna take this away because it's so dirty. And he was terrible. So I could just tell right away he was terrible. Plus he took like three weeks to come out and do it. So evidently he did a horrible job because it was leaking again. And I paid him like, I think it was six or $700 to fix the, he said it was all cracked and needed a new cap on top and all this stuff. So anyway, I went on Thumbtack. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of Thumbtack, but it's kind of like Angie's List a little bit, but um, different. But I really like it. And, and you can read like all the reviews of people who use the, you know, people on there. So there was this one guy on there who was a brick guy. He's a, he does brick and siding and roofing and stuff. And um, he had like all five star recommendations. He, they, everybody said he was wonderful. So I called him, he came right out the next day, gave me an estimate, which was, you know, for doing a whole bunch of stuff. He did a lot, oops, I almost put that on the inside. He fixed my brick out front and then the one in the garage and then the chimney, 
which had tons and tons and tons of cracks on it. He went up there on the roof and took a video of my chimney and showed me where the other guy had fixed it and done a really crummy job. And all he did was slap some concrete on top of the cracks. And he said, he said the best thing to do really would be replace your chimney because it's 30 some years old and it was starting to like fall apart. And I said, well, I can't afford that right now. So <laughs> I just spent all my money on doing my bathroom. So he kind of did a patch job, but patched like 50 bricks. So what he did was he went in all the cracks and drilled out all the concrete and then, or mortar or whatever it is, and then put, uh, filled it back up with new concrete. So he, they had to dig out like in between all the bricks where the cracks were. And so then he went and took like video of all the new stuff. It looks, it looks brand new really. And they pressure washed it. Then they put a sealant, um, on the whole thing to keep it waterproof. And then he also fixed some boards that were in my deck that were rotted. And then in my shed, I think I told you guys about my squirrel problem in my shed that I have squirrels getting in there and they keep making nests and stuff. So he put this like wire mesh all the way around the, where the, the roof meets the side. So now they can't get in there. And it was funny because when I went to go show him, you know, at the shed, there was two squirrel nests in there, two big giant squirrel nests. And I was like, oh. So anyway, he came into that um, yesterday. So now I am totally broke. So nothing else better go wrong <laughs> because <laughs> I am done fixing stuff. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use some rhinestone since you guys like the rhinestone idea. And I don't know if I've got enough small ones. Let me see. Three, oh, here's some extra ones. Oops. There's one we can use. Take that one right there. Oops. Over there, we go. All right, so we're gonna put like three on each one, and you know what you could do if you wanted to is color these with the stamp and blend, like the Starry Sky stamp and blend or the Orchid Oasis stamp and blend, and make them colored instead of just plain. That would be even more beautiful. Just love these. Rhinestones are probably my favorite of all the gems that we have. I love, love, love them. And pearls, too. I like the pearls. So just stick these wherever you want. And three is always good. Okay. So there we go. All right, then, of course, we have to spray some shimmer spray. So anyway, when I walked in here today, I kind of had forgotten about it a little bit. <laughs> I was trying to like erase this room from my mind <laughs> because it's such a mess. And I walked in here and I was like, oh, you ever do that? You just like start something and then you're so overwhelmed. You just like, I can't get that back in there. Um, You just can't finish. I'm, I don't even want to finish it. It's just like, uh, I don't know. I need somebody to come help me organize. <laughs> but y'all ever feel like that? You just get so overwhelmed and you're just kind of like looking at it and you're like, I don't even want to do it. Ugh. I hate that. Okay, so let's spritz this. There we go. I lost my other thing of shimmer spray. Okay, so, oh, don't forget... If you want to order, that's the host code for today. And then I got a new one that starts tomorrow. So that's the one starting tomorrow. And today is the last day of celebration. This is a mess on here. So there we go. All right, let me get my joke out. I'm finished reading some comments. That is a great technique. You're going to try it. Good. Um, you could make a plaid with a crosshatch pattern. I could. 
spray them with shimmer spray. That's what I did. If you left the ink on, oh, I already saw that one. Um, put shaving cream in a pan. Oh yeah, I've done that before, the shaving cream technique, but that is mists. Madness, I'm always overwhelmed. I know it. I get overwhelmed thinking about doing these videos too because <laughs> when I woke up from my nap outside on the patio, it was four o'clock and I hadn't done my project yet. At least I kind of haven't had an idea of what I was gonna do. But sometimes I just get so overwhelmed thinking about what I'm going to have to do for a video that I just, oh, I get a headache. I know that's awful because I love doing my videos, but at the same time, it's a lot of pressure to come up with a new idea like every other day. So um, it's like some days my creative juices are not flowing very good. So, all right, you guys ready for a cute joke? All right, and this is a blonde joke, so no offense to the blondes in the room. All right, blonde at the Super Bowl. So of all the blonde jokes, this one has to be the one of the best because it makes football make sense. So a guy took his blonde girlfriend to the Super Bowl game. They had great seats right behind their team's bench. After the game, he asked her how she liked it. She said, oh, I really liked it. She replied, especially the tight pants and all the big muscles but I just couldn't understand why they were killing each other over 25 cents. Dumbfounded, her boyfriend asked, what do you mean? Well, they flipped a coin, one team got it, and then all for the rest of the game, all they kept screaming was, get the quarterback, get the quarterback. I'm like, hello, it's only 25 cents. <laughs> I thought that was cute. <laughs> you want to hear it? Let me see if I got another one. Oh, here's a really fast one. Okay. So Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd break into a distillery. Daffy turns to Elmer and says, is this whiskey? Elmer says, yeah, but not as whiskey as wobbing a bank. <laughs> okay, those are my jokes for today. <laughs> All right, whoever wants to come organize with me, come on over so you can help me. <laughs> And if you have any great ideas, send them to me. I love copying people, so. But I don't ever copy, like, anybody online because I don't want to, if I have to get permission from somebody to copy their stuff. This is a mess of a paper. All right, so thank you so much for joining me tonight, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, today's the last day of celebration. If you want to place an order and get free stuff and also get this card kit, today's the last day for this card kit. And this one... And I just realized I did not go straight all the time. So Starla's going to have a hard time taking pictures. So this will be the card kit for starting tomorrow through the 15th of March. So you'll get enough to make all these four cards. And if you don't have the alphabet set or don't want to get it, you could just put words there like the thank you right here. Wait, where's the one I did? This one. So you could do it like this instead. But you'll get all the supplies. And then if your order's over $100, you'll also get these gems too. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff for me. It always helps my channel grow. And um, I appreciate all of you guys that ordered. And I will pick a winner, the winners for the gift certificates and announce those on Thursday. So thanks, everybody. Have a great night and take care. And I'll be back in a couple days. Bye-bye.